Thank you, Jesus. The Lord gives us strength. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, we are weak at this point. Hallelujah, and we thank you for that strength. Hallelujah. You are my strength, strength like no other, strength like no other, reach
Christ, we come humbly before you, thanking you for your goodness and your mercy, for your grace that is sufficient, for your peace that passes all understanding. Lord God, we thank you for your mercy that endures forever. Lord God, we thank you for allowing us to gather here in this service, Lord God. God, would you rest, rule, and abide here in the praises of of your people, Lord God, that as these praises go up, Lord God, let your blessings begin to come down in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God, we need you now more than we ever have before. God, would you send an anointing that would break and destroy yokes. 
Lord God, say in the Lord rebuke you and the blood of Jesus is against you. These, the people of God, you have no power over, for they have been bought with a price. In the name of Jesus Christ, would you set free, God? Would you heal? And will you deliver by the power of your Holy Spirit, God? Would you send a word that would be able to bring deliverance to all, Lord God? That would be the very catalyst for our healing, for the catalyst of our increased faith. Lord God, we're believing you for miracles, signs, and wonders, not here, but for all, Lord Jesus, that are watching, Lord God, would your spirit move in the midst of your omnipresence, be everywhere that this broadcast is in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, and we shall be careful to give your name all the glory, the honor, and the praise, for it all belongs to you. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray this prayer. Amen and amen. Let's give God praise. Amen. The word of the Lord will be coming from the 121st Psalm, which I'll read in its entirety. Amen. Uh, in your hearing, the word of the Lord will read on this wise. I will lift up mine eyes unto the hills, from whence cometh my help. My help cometh from the Lord, which made heaven and earth. He will not suffer thy foot to be moved. He that keepeth thee will not slumber. Behold, he that keepeth Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is thy keeper. The Lord is thy shade upon thy right hand. The sun shall not smite thee by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve thee from all evil. He shall preserve thy soul. The Lord shall preserve thy going out and thy coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. Amen. The word of the Lord is blessed. Praise the Lord, everybody. How many of y'all got a praise for the Lord? Hallelujah. If you know when the praises go up, blessings come down. Hallelujah. So we give God the highest praise. Hallelujah. He is worthy. Praises go up, the blessings come down. The praises go up, the blessings come down. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Help me sing. The praises go up and the blessings come down. When the praises go up, then the blessings come down. Hallelujah, 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 
Hallelujah. How many people owe God a praise tonight? Praise our God. I owe him a praise because he woke me up this morning. I owe him a praise because he started me on my way. I owe him a praise because he preserved me and kept me until this day. Amen. I owe God a praise. Hallelujah. Wave at someone and say, I owe God a praise. Let's give the Lord another praise in the house. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen, amen, amen. Thank you. What a wonderful God we serve. Angels bow before him. Heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. Amen. We thank the Lord for having us, brought us this far. Amen. We made it this far by the grace of our Lord. Amen. So many things could have befallen us, but God has kept us and preserved us. And for that reason, we owe him a praise. Can you say amen to that? And we are ready to receive the word of the Lord. We thank God for uh, the mighty man of God that leads this diocese. We praise God for the Lord having his hand upon his life. Amen. We have not heard from him as a diocese in such a long time. But on this evening, we believe that there is a word from the Lord. And the Lord is going to speak to us through our diocese. Receive at this time, Apostle A. Philip Parrott. Give the Lord praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. God is my rock hope of salvation he's worthy Jesus is worthy he's worthy to be praised we give the Lord we give the Lord our praise oh hallelujah God is my rock hope of salvation. We want to bless our praise. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord for he is is there a witness in the house that God has been good to you. Oh, praise the Lord. If God has been good to you, then you ought to be good to God. Oh, hallelujah. Well, we're grateful unto the Lord, and we're just grateful as we are coming out of quarantine and coming out of restriction, coming back into fellowship. Oh, praise the Lord. And I'd rather have fellowship than battleship. Oh, praise the name of God. Oh, how good and pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. We're blessed on today to have our uh, spiritual father, the Bible Week Church worldwide, and one of the senior patriarchs, Apostle Paul Commodore. Amen. Thank God for him and his tireless efforts still building up the kingdom of God at the age of 89. Uh, God is a good God. Oh, praise the Lord. Amen. He's still driving, told me, he came to Trenton from Neptune in record time. Oh, praise the Lord. And he kept it at 65. And so we're blessing God for the apostle. Praise the Lord. God is a good God. And certainly we thank God for our assistant, the Ossison Bishop. The Honorable Bishop Courtney Henry, Pastor of Bible Way to Temple, to Elder 
Bryant, and praise the name of the Lord, and to Elder Bethea, Elder Parrott, all of our ministry leader, Minister Anderson. We want to honor our international missionary president, Mother Barbara Donna. Praise the Lord. And to the First Lady of the Bible Way Truth Temple, Lady Margaret Henry. And, and to the outstanding First Lady of the Bible Way Cathedral of Deliverance, Lady S. Diane Perry. Praise the Lord. To all of our delegates that are here today, we want to ask you to turn your attention to the Word of God. Amen. And we just want to go over a few words. And before we let you go today, I want to thank God for our ministry of music. They have done awesome. And I want to thank those that helped register today at the table and take temperatures and we are blessing God for those that were a part of the hospitality ministry and the feeding of all of God's people today. Let's give God praise for them. They have done outstanding work on today. In the 37th chapter of the book of Ezekiel, at verse 11, the word of the Lord said, Then said he unto me, Son of man, these bones are the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say, our bones are dried, and our hope is lost, and we are cut off from our parts. Therefore prophesy, and say unto them, Thus saith the Lord God, Behold, O my people, I will open your graves and cause you to come up out of your graves and bring you in the land, into the land of Israel. And ye shall know that I am the Lord when I have opened your graves, O my people, and brought you up out of your graves. And the word of the Lord is blessed. I want to use, uh, as I was sharing with our pastors and our leaders in anticipation of our meeting, uh, that we are reconnecting, praise the Lord, coming out of isolation. It's important that we reconnect. And so I want to use as a subject, God is the only one that can reconnect the dots. God is the only one that can reconnect the dots. Uh, if I were to use for a thought, it would be from nothing to a mighty army. From nothing to a mighty army. In the word of the Lord, this passage of scripture has often been preached to excite people uh, concerning the valley of the dry bones without understanding the, tr the true significance of this prophetic word that Ezekiel gives to us. Ezekiel starts out by saying that he is led of the Spirit into the valley of dry bones and that they are very dry. Here is conflict. Why would God lead a prophet into a dry place. 
when it is recorded, he leadeth us besides the still waters. He leadeth us in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Oh, praise the Lord. Why does the Spirit of God lead the prophet into this dry bone valley? Oh, thank you, Jesus. And he brings them into a place where there is no life. There is only death. And God gives him an impossible assignment. God tells the prophet to prophesy in a place where there are no amens. God tells him to prophesy in a place where there's no one to encourage him to tell him, go ahead. Oh, thank you, Jesus Christ. God leads him in a place where there's no praise team. There's no worship leaders. It's just death and the word of God. It's just death, praise the Lord, and what God is trying to teach. And I come to tell you, in everything that you go through, that there is either a blessing or a lesson. Praise the Lord. Sometimes there is both. But you're either going to get out of every experience that you have. Praise the Lord. You're either going to get a blessing out of it. Or you're going to learn a lesson from it. Don't go through nothing and don't learn nothing. Oh, I wish I could talk to somebody. If I'm going to go through something, let me learn something. Let me take something from it. If it's not going to bless me, then let it educate me. Oh, praise the Lord. And he comes into this place that is very dry, being led of the Spirit. And uh, he sees not only a valley that is full of skeletons, but they have been dead so long, they are scattered all over the valley. Uh, there is no order to them. Oh, thank you, Jesus Christ. And the Lord tells him, or the Lord asks him, praise the Lord, son of man, can these bones live again? Yeah. Oh, thank you, Jesus. And Elijah is a prophet of the Lord. He is well schooled in the word of God. He's well schooled in theology. Oh, thank you, Jesus Christ. Oh, hallelujah. He knows what God can do. In earlier passages, he has seen the wheels. Oh, hallelujah. And he saw these wheels turning and inside of the wheel were little wheels. And he saw the precision of God. And now uh, God is asking him concerning another situation. What I want to say is sometime God will give us the masteries over certain areas to have knowledge of how they work. But every now and then, God brings us into areas where we have no knowledge. We have no mastery of that particular challenge. And God will ask us, thank you, Jesus, do you believe that 
these bones can live. Oh, hallelujah. Most preachers today have a problem with a dead church. Most preachers today have a problem with people that have skin on top of their skeleton. Oh, thank you, Jesus, that have breath in their lungs. We don't know how to preach to folk that are alive. But can you imagine being given an assignment to preach to people that are dead? And not only are they dead, they've been dead so long that the skin has fallen off their bodies. They've been dead so long that their cartilages and the sinew have come out of their joints. And they're just scattered in an open valley that is very dry. And here is God asking the Son of Man, can these bones live again? Oh, praise the Lord. And the prophet uh, does not claim knowledge enough to answer this question because he is dealing with God. And when you're dealing with God, it's not like you're being catechized by a man because God is different than a man. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. For God is not a man that he should lie. Oh, no, the son of man that he should repent. It, oh, praise the Lord. And the prophet says, oh, Lord, thou knowest that there are some things we don't know, but God knows all about it. And I'm not going to try to pretend to you like I know everything. But everything I do know, I got it from the Lord. Oh, praise the Lord. And I can tell you, you might know more than me, but what I know is enough to save me. For I know in whom I have believed. And I'm persuaded. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. That he is able to deliver us. Oh, praise God. And the Lord want me to preach in this message coming out of a pandemic to the Archdiocese of New Jersey. And say, look at what happened in the world. Look how discombobulated we have become. Look how full of fear we are. Do you believe that God can connect the dots that have been separated? Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And I come to tell you that God, 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 is the only one that can connect the dots. God is the only one that can take nothing and make a mighty army out of nothing. Hallelujah. For the Lord said, Hallelujah, don't just look at me, but prophesy. My God, say to the dry bones, all oh bones, hear ye the word of the Lord. Oh my God, some 
times uh, you got to look at stuff uh, that don't never move. Uh, you got to look at stuff, like, uh, hallelujah, that's dead, uh, that's dry, uh, that you gave up on uh, and say, hear ye uh, the word of the Lord. Uh, because if I speak uh, the word of the Lord, uh, something uh, got to happen. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, for there is life uh, in the word. Uh, because in the beginning, uh, what's the word? Uh, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm the word. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, thank you, Jesus. Uh, hallelujah came uh, on the morning of nothing uh, and spoke uh, the word uh, that word uh, was God uh, that word uh, was with God uh, and without it uh, there was nothing made uh, that was made uh, but the word spoke uh, for God uh, is the word uh, hallelujah uh, I want you to know the word for God here uh, is logos uh, which means uh, the talking spirit uh, and God started talking uh, when everything uh, is in disarray uh, if God starts talking uh, he can bring uh, order back uh, from chaos uh, hallelujah uh, when the world was dark and void and darkness was on the face of the deep the word says the spirit of God spake the spirit of God moved on the darkness I need somebody that has faith to believe that if God moves darkness got to go if God moves hallelujah chaos got to go God moved sickness got to go sin and sickness have to go where the healing waters flow oh yes there is power in his name I'm so glad I know the name hallelujah for I heard God say let them be light and all of a sudden with no rehearsal the lights came on because God spake it hallelujah God didn't have to go get more land and pour it on the water God just said let the dry lands appear I need to tell somebody God knows how to connect the dots he know where everything is he know where everything has been buried hallelujah and I know you say everything dead ought to be buried but that's not what God says God said everything that is dead need to be resurrected because I am the resurrection I, I am I'm the life he that believeth in me though they be dead yet 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 shall they live again I come to tell somebody God is getting ready to raise a mighty army hallelujah where is he going to get it from where is God going to raise this army he's going to raise it in death valley he's going to raise it in a valley that's dry and dead hallelujah oh God is saying 
somebody, son of man, daughter of woman, somebody speak the word of the Lord and say to the dryness, to the deadness, hear ye the word of the Lord, hallelujah, prophesy, prophesy, I'm going to prophesy, hallelujah, that there shall be life in the valley, there shall be peace in the valley, there shall be a revival in the valley, hallelujah, I need somebody, I need a bone in the valley to praise them, somebody that's in the valley right now, come on, give God your best. Everybody stand to your feet. Everybody stand. Y'all heard me right. Everybody stand to your feet. Oh, hallelujah. Every, well, everybody that can stand, if you can hear me, we just stand to your feet. Oh, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. God is the only one that knows how to reconnect we're coming out of something that people have been disconnected and everybody been doing what is right in their own eyes. But that's not how God operates. God is calling for unity. Oh, hallelujah. Before Pentecost could happen, God had to reconnect the dots. Peter and all of them were scattered. Oh, hallelujah. But God said there's not going to be a Pentecost without every dot being in that place. That's why God has healed somebody in this pandemic. While others were going through, God healed you. Oh, hallelujah. Because God was saving you. Now, I want you to listen to this. God was saving you for when this was over. Oh, I, I, is there anybody receiving this? I said, God was saving you for when this thing would end because God has a divine assignment on your life. Oh, listen. Oh, hallelujah. There were some of us at the beginning of this were spiritually dying and going into our spiritual grave. But at the end of this whole pandemic, God said, then shall you know that I am God when I have brought you out of what was supposed to kill you. My God. We get ready to pray now, and I'm reaching out to you. Oh, praise the name of God, because I'm prophesying in this valley of the archdiocese. Oh, hallelujah. I'm prophesying churches. Oh, oh hallelujah. Ezekiel didn't hear one amen when he prophesied. But at some point, he heard the noise of something shaken. My God, God is getting ready to shake some stuff up. 
Oh, praise the name of God. And you're going to see people glorifying God that were not glorifying him before because somebody's going to hear the clarion call to go to work. Right where you are in your seat. Father, in the name of Jesus. Thank you for allowing us to come together. Thank you, Jesus Christ, for the Apostle Commodore. Thank you, Lord Jesus Christ, for the Bishop Henry. And now, Lord, I, I touch and agree with these men that there shall be a shaking in the valley, oh God, that dead, dead things coming back to life, even those that have afflictions, that have written you off as a healer, God, I want you to show yourself mighty. I want you to show yourself strong touch hips and bones and knees, touch joints, back condition. Oh God, touch cancers and take cancers out of the body. Take heart disease out of the body. In the name of Jesus, take bursitis and arthritis and all those itis. Take them out in the name of, in the name of Jesus. And we call it done right now. Now, somebody give God praise. Somebody give God praise. And if you give him praise, he will give you victory. If you give him praise, he'll give you victory. If you give God praise, he will give you Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. Just turn to your neighbor. Praise the Lord. Don't touch them. Just wave over them and say, be thou healed. Be thou healed emotionally, physically, mentally. Be healed. My God, in your home, be healed in your family be healed in the, in the name of Jesus Christ Father we bless your name we bless your name we bless your name oh hallelujah Oh uh -huh.